Is it okay if I continue? All right. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Diksha, a third year podiatric medical student, and today we have an amazing series called Exploring the Nine Podiatric Medical Schools. Why do we do this? Why are we doing this? It's because, you guys, we only attend CSPM and we are not qualified to talk about all the other schools and we feel so bad whenever we try to help you all with it. But we wanted a solution. So what we're doing is we are contacting different students from different podiatric medical schools who we know can help you all and are just as qualified, right? There are incredible people lined up and these people really have a passion for podiatry and we wanted to make sure those kind of people are answering all of your most most common questions. So today we have one of my personal favorite students out there because she cares a lot, she is a ball of sunshine, and she's always supportive with everyone in podiatry. Who is this? My name is Nicole Mboji and I'm a second year student class of 2023 at NYCPM. And today I'll be answering some questions about podiatry school and like the area, et cetera, et cetera. Question number one. What's the area like? Like things to do, safety, weather. So in terms of things to do, like you can never get tired of New York, I think. Like there's always something new to try out. If you wanted to try something new every single day, you could literally do that probably in all four years that you're here and never repeat. In terms of safety, like the area is okay. Like I, you know, haven't experienced anything, you know, personally, James not on wood. Um, but um, the area is not the greatest, I'm not gonna lie, but it is what it is. And then in terms of weather, um, being on the East Coast, you really experience all four seasons. Like, you're gonna have a fall, you're gonna have a winter, you're gonna have a spring, you're gonna have a summer. That's just like how it is. You know, I've always heard that the winter was like really bad in New York, but it's really not. Like, I'm from Maryland um, originally, and it's really not that bad. Like, honestly, you experience all seasons here, so that's just that. What's the living situation like? Pricing, distance from the school, easily accessible grocery stores, roommates, no roommate pricing. Okay, so in terms of the pricing, if you live at the Bridges, which is student housing at NYCPM, you would have to pay between 1200 to two thousand dollars it would fall anywhere in between that range and in terms of the distance um, from the school it's a 10 minute walk or less depending on like the lights that might stop you they have easily accessible grocery stores from that point like food town or city market fresh i think that's what it's called and in terms of if you don't have a roommate it would be very pricey i in my opinion currently i moved out of the bridges and I'm living with two of my roommates and what I was paying at the bridges, it's less because I have roommates. But if I didn't have roommates, it would be expensive, so. Number three, class sizes. And what classes do you take your first year? My class size is about 100 students. And your first year, you take biochemistry, you take um, immunology, you take histology, you take anatomy, you take physiology one and two, you take neuroscience, you take genetics. For the most part, that's like what you take. I might be missing some classes, but um, you can always like look at the curriculum on Google for NYCPM. Do you have research opportunities at your school and does your school have a research lab? The research opportunities that you could have at the school is through um, probably an e-board like of one of the clubs that we have here at the school. Um, or like our school has their own research journal where you could potentially be published in our, our school journal and basically you like choose some articles, you do a literature review and you can be published. It's like a really cool thing here at NYCPM, so you could always like try and do that. Number five, do you have clubs at your school and how active are they? Yes, we have clubs here. Some active clubs are like Sports Medicine Club, Diabetes and Wound Care Club, SNAPMA, there's a management club, there's an international podiatry club, there's a, I'm pretty sure there's a public health club, there are American Association of Women Podiatrists Club, there are so many clubs. So six, do you have a gym and cafeteria located on campus? Yes, we have a gym. 
Yes, we have the cafeteria. <laughs> Number seven, are there any academic support services for students? Yes, if you are falling behind, you're not doing that well, you can contact um, the Dean of Student Services and she can get you in contact with a tutor. They can tutor individuals or they can do group studies. Number eight, are there any counseling services for students? In terms of mental health, I'm sure there is like, through administration, also the Dean of Student Services. You just shoot an email, go talk to her, and she'll also get you squared away with that. What's your favorite part about your school? My favorite part about the school would be the people that I met here, for sure. Definitely people that I would have long-term relationships with. I'm very thankful and blessed to have that. 10, does the school have special groups for um, to help spouses or family members for acclimating to the medical school environment? I honestly would not know about that, <laughs> if we're being honest. But I'm sure, again, if you contact administration, go to the dean, student services, she'll help you with things like that. Does your school offer scholarships? Yes, my school offers scholarships. Do you need a car? Is there public transportation? You don't need a car. There is public transportation. Normally, even people who don't even live within the state commute through public transport. I, I really don't think that you would need a car. It would be a lot of work just to have, have a car. 13, are there any jobs that students can take as first years in the school, such as peer tutors and note takers? Yes, we have scribe positions and we also have tutoring positions. And I think both those jobs go for 25 an hour, I'm pretty sure. And it could be a little bit more when we're talking about groups. Um, 14, how often are certain facilities open for students, labs, gym, etc.? In terms of the gym, I'm pretty sure it's like open as long as the school is open. Um, don't quote me on that. And for the labs, typically there are like scheduled days where people are able to go into open lab and you can go look at cadavers and things like that. Um, 15, does your school have any special ties with residency programs? Um, I know normally NYCPM is like really good with um, getting in contact with like New York and New Jersey residencies. And my school also has a residency. So those are like the ties that I know of. Um, basically like if you guys have any other information, just DM me um, on my Instagram page, Nani Got Soul, and I can answer any of your podiatry questions for you for pre-podiatry students, current students if you want. Um, but yeah, like this is really fun. Thank you so much for having me today.